morning all of you today i'd like to welcome you to the topic bread making process my name is denzel celestin de costa i'm the lecturer at the department of hospitality science milagres college mangalore as you know today we are going to discuss the bread making process now let's see what is bread making process bread is a combination of flour and water that has been baked the basic process involves mixing of ingredients until the flour is converted into a stiff paste or dough followed by baking the dough into a loaf the kneading process with water converts the doughy consistency into a hard consistency that is called as the bread let's go across the different steps involved in bread making process the first one is scaling of ingredients second is mixing of ingredients third is fermentation fourth is punching or knock back fifth is scaling the dough sixth is rounding seventh is intermediate proofing or benching eighth is molding or panning ninth is proofing 10th baking 11th cooling and 12th is storing now let's go on one by one of each process first one is scaling of ingredients what do we mean by scaling of ingredients every single ingredient is individually weighed and then it is mixed together remember baking is all about weighing the different ingredients to a precise consistency while breaking any bakery product you need to weigh or scale the ingredients in the right specific way as the recipe suggests second one is mixing as we know mixing is nothing but putting all the ingredients together to form a mass as you see in the pictures first the dry ingredients are mixed together so that they mix up evenly all together then little by little water is added to form a soft dough or maybe a dough that is required for a particular bread some doughs require uh, some breads require hard doughs some breads require a soft dough next we go to in mixing break why is mixing done mixing is done to develop the gluten content in the dough now when flour is in its original form there is gluten content which is very weak but when mixed with water the gluten content develops and what happens is there is a, a elasticity that is framed so that it traps the bubble within the uh, dough okay again when we talk about mixing what happens here in mixing yeast is added now yeast is added into the dough for that it eats the sugar that has been added and to give out carbon dioxide for the bread to make it airy okay as we have see here, see here all the flour yeast water yeast food that is the sugar is mixed sufficiently to make a homogeneous mass it is mixed evenly so that one mass is produced so that it can be baked properly fat should be added later remember fat is never added at the starting because it can prevent the absorption of water because fat and water are two polarized or two different items which don't mix together without a coagulate uh, or, or without a emulsifying agent to be more precise okay strong flour needs longer mixing time remember when it is a strong flour the gluten content also will be will, very strong now that will require a longer mixing time when the dough is properly mixed the surface of the dough becomes smooth it gets a sheen okay the surface may also show round contained shapes gas bubbles trapped under its thin film of dough that is all about mixing now that when this uh, consistency is attained you tell that mixing mixing is done next we go to fermentation now what is fermentation now which are the ingredients used for fermentation here yes flour contains natural sugars 
for it to ferment now what actually creates the fermentation is the ingredient called as yeast now yeast when when it is mixed in the flour what happens is it eats the sugar and releases carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide helps to make the bread into a, a softer consistency it releases the carbon dioxide within the bread creating air bubbles within the bread part of the alcohol evaporates and part is converted to acetic acid uh, that remains to contribute the uh, flavor to the bread that is all about your fermentation in brief now when we go further what happens during this fermentation uh, time natural uh, what that is three main sources of sugar that is first one you have the natural sugar that is present in flour then formula sugar that the sugar is added and sugar produced from the starch by the enzymes now when this gluten starch is activated there are sugar that is produced the gluten becomes smoother and more elastic elastic so it stretches farther and holds more gas under fermented dough is not developed properly and the texture of the product will be coarse okay that is all about your uh, fermentation next one we have punching or knockback now what is this punching or knockback we are going to see now guys punching doesn't mean you're hitting the dough it is basically deflating the dough after two third of the fermentation time okay uh, the dough is knocked back there are few reasons uh, in the dough i'm not going to read everything here what happens in the dough is uh, the first initial gases that are created within the dough okay need to be removed out because they have a sort of a iony flavor now this removes the dough uh, removes that gases out knockback and knockback helps to equalize the temperature within the dough also okay uh, it what happens is uh, the initial temperature initial gases that come out will be hotter and during this knockback period the temperature the temperature also balances now yeast working of yeast also is balanced because sometimes yeast may remain in one place and the working may go on only in that place now again when it knockbacks the yeast redistributes and helps for further growth okay that is about knockback the next one we are almost towards the uh, baking part this is called as the scaling of dough you weigh all together you weigh the dough equally and divide it and you uh, what you do is uh, make sure the dough of every shape has the equal amount of dough in it why the reason being when it bakes if the dough is one having maybe 100 grams one having 200 grams will not break properly in the oven now this can cause uneven baked bread okay next we go to rounding the bread which is scaled or which is divided is given a shape okay and this shape is allowed to rest because this will help in the final process so to this point, I would like to stop this video. We'll continue the next bread, make, bread making process uh, in the next video to come. Thank you once again.